Good morning everyone, we're at the Combined Naval Events 2024 in Farnborough, UK and I feel honored this morning to meet with Vice Admiral Imayoshi, the Director General for Naval System at ATLA, the Japanese Defense Procurement Agency. Admiral, good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time to answer uh, a few of my uh, questions. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, can you please first uh, tell us about uh, your role at ATLA? So I'm in charge of their R&D as well as the, the design of the ships and also the defense equipments. Uh, during this conference, uh, you're giving uh, two briefings, one about the future uh, destroyers of the GMSDF and one about the future submarine uh, for the GMSDF. Uh, what kind of new capabilities are you expecting from the future DDGs? Given the more um, increasingly challenging security environments surrounding Japan um, and uh, the countries are bolstering their A to AD capabilities to counter these uh, their capabilities, our challenge to address is to uh, enhance air defense, uh, long uh, range air defense capabilities. Same question, Admiral, for the submarines. What new capabilities are we expecting? Hi. For the future submarines, what are required includes the uh, further quietness and stealthness, as, as well as sustainability and durability, and also the support, stronger support system to facilitate the commanders to make swift decisions. I read in uh, the Japanese press and uh, Naval News has reported that uh, Japan is looking at uh, new technologies for future DDGs such as uh, JCEC, so Japanese CEC, also a new surface to air missile known as uh, NSAM. How important such uh, new systems will be for the destroyers? Hi. For the future destroyers to deliver the operation, the capabilities required have been identified, including CEC, the establishing FC network, and also the radars, and shipped to air missiles. Most of us know uh, that there are currently uh, challenges for the manning of the submarine force in uh, Japan. ATLA is currently uh, developing an XL UUV. Uh, is this uh, the right answer to address those manning issues and uh, how will the submarines, the manned submarines and the XL UUV cooperate underwater to achieve man-on-man uh, -man teaming? Hi. Thank you for your question. The collaboration and uh, communication between manned submarine and, and LDUUV is one of the, the important tasks for us to achieve. We believe that in terms of the communication, the establishment of the acoustic communication network between the manned and unmanned uh, assets is uh, very critical for us. And based on that uh, establishment of that communication network, what kind of operation we can deliver have been discussed and deliberated among ourselves, which I, we, I cannot really fully disclose at the moment. Very well, Admiral. Thank you again so much for uh, answering my question. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you. Thank you very much.